Hello there, I am Dranko with my Pokemon Crystal. In the last part, we took on the whole entire victory road because it was very short, and we also took on Smat, our rival, for the second to last time, I believe. We actually battled him when we were in Kanto, actually. Well, technically twice in Kanto, because Victory Road is part of Kanto, I guess, in this game, so yeah. So, I trained all my Pokemon up to level 50, and I had it, them all trained up to level 50, and even the last part, so that's pretty cool. So, I'm gonna go through my summaries and stuff on my Pokemon. Just go through the moves and stuff. Okay, so, uh, Mystic knows Shadow Ball, Headbutt, Psychic, and Bite. Now, it's only move it's not, the, no, the only final move it doesn't have now is, uh, Morning Sun. So, yeah, that's, yeah, it's gonna, Bite's gonna, uh, Morning Sun's gonna replace a Bite, basically. Now, Megan, my Meganium, and by the way, uh, right now I said Mystic, my Espeon. Yeah, cool, okay. Yeah, so Megan, my Meganium knows, uh, Poison Powder, Razor Leaf, Synthesis, and Body Slam. It still needs to know, it still needs to learn Solar Beam and Giga Drain. Giga Drain will be actually be a team we'll get later on in Kanto, but Solar Beam, I think he, I think, uh, Meganium learn Solar Beam somewhere in the late 50s, if I had to guess. I know, um, I think that Meganium can learn Solar Beam by leveling up, but if not, we're gonna have to use like a TM or something. I forget, but whatever. <laughs> Now we have, uh, Blaze, our canine, which evol we evolved our Growlithe into our canine in the last part, actually. It went in three permanent party, permanent party, it went in three permanent moves. Um, in the last part, it learned Extreme Speed, Dragon Breath by TM, of course. It learned Extreme Speed by leveling up, and Flamethrower by leveling up. So, yeah, no, it's Flamethrower, Extreme Speed, uh, Dragon Breath, and Flame Wheel. That's the final move set for Blaze, that's pretty cool. Now we have, uh, Oliver and Octel, uh, Oliver knows, uh, Confusion, Takedown, Swift, and Fly. That's, a uh, it's final move set, so that's awesome. And then we have Sanders or Sand Slash, knows Ethic, Strength, Slash, and Dig. Again, that's Sanders' final move set. So cool. And then finally, we have Broso or Sorbro, knows Confusion, um, Ice Beam, Headbutt, and Surf. Uh, it's only move, it's only, it's only move it still needs to learn is Psychic, which I think will be when it levels up to like level 54 or something like that. And that's about it, yeah, that's all my Pokemon. So I recommend you have like a dark or ghost type Pokemon up front, because the first member of the floor is Will, and he's the user, uh, the master of Psychic type Pokemon, I guess you could say. So let's go and battle him, I guess. Yeah, nice. Let's talk to him. Welcome to the Pokemon League, Steven. Oh, I mean to introduce myself, I am Will. I have trained all over, all around the world, making my psychic Pokemon powerful. And I, at last, I've been accepted into the Elite Four. I can only get, I can only keep getting better. Losing is not an option. Okay, well, let's go. Let's have a battle. So he's gonna start off with a Zat too, which I think is normal, which is a, a psychic and flying type, I think. With a little instant battle, cool. Okay, so, yeah, Zat too, nice. It's level 40 in male. So Mystic is 10 levels higher than this thing, so that's good. Let's go for the Shadow Ball right off the bat. See so if we can want to kill it. Let's see here. Um, Looking good so far. And we do. Oh, I thought I was about to say we do want to kill it, but nope. It uh still lived by the silver. It still lived a little bit. Dang it. I should have done a practice run too. I'm kind of going blind, honestly. With not knowing how this is going to go, but uh, I'm still confident I'm going to win. Yeah, the bite takes it awesome. Nice. Cool. Is that too okay? Let's go for the let's go for bite, I guess. Yeah, the Satu is level four too in male. I think it's the strongest Pokemon too. Bite was able to bite was able to bite was able to paint. Wow, I was, I'm surprised. And then there's people screaming in the background outside. <laughs> oh well, I bet my microphone's picking that up, but that's okay. We have to have some outside commentary right now. No, no, I'm just kidding. It's whatever. It doesn't bug me. Okay, so this is a uh, Jinx. So it's psychic and ice type. So that means uh, it's weak against uh, fire Pokemon because it's half a psychic type or fire type moves because it's half psychic type. Let's go for the flame throw. See if it'll want to KO it. This Jinx is level 41 in females. So that's pretty cool. Still kind of looks like Grimace in a wig, but okay. Jinx looks like Grimace in a wig. I've already pointed that out my Pokemon. A leaf green redo, I think, is what I pointed out again against the wool eyes. Jinx. <laughs> Whatever, okay. Yeah, one flame third knocks it out, awesome. Okay, slow bro, nice. Let's go to our trusty old grass type Pokemon then. Megan. Megan! 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 I can just see, I'm picturing Josh Peck and Drake Bell. Uh, portraying the characters as uh, Drake Parker and Josh Nichols just shouting Megan, 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 Megan from the Treehouse episode when they had to scream outside the window when they got trapped in the Treehouse in the Treehouse episode. 
That's that's some good stuff. That's some good stuff. Let's go for the razor. If this sword was level 41 in male, so Megan is nine levels higher than this thing. And good thing a uh, razor leaf hits there. Awesome. Amnesia. Okay. Gonna raise special defense when way up. Okay. Good thing. I think razor leaf's physical, but I could be wrong. But yeah, hopefully this razor leaf takes it out. Maybe get critical or something. Awesome. Cause it's super effective and it knocks it out. Awesome. We didn't even need the critical hit. Jeez. And uh, one more Pokemon, awesome, with Executor. Let's go back to our trusty old Blaze. I could go to Oliver for this one, but I'm gonna give this one to Blaze, I guess. Yeah, nice. Okay, so let's use Flamethrower on this thing. Nice. And I want to shot it, awesome, nice. That's good to know. And then we defeated Will. Four Will was defeated. Awesome. I I can't believe it. Thanks for four 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 thousand two hundred poke dollars or four two hundred poke dollars. Again, if I had all of it out for that battle just for a turn, it would have doubled. But that's okay. Even though I was defeated, I won't change my course. I will continue battling until I stand above all trainers. Now, Steven, move on and experience the true ferocity. I guess is how you pronounce it of the elite four. Nice. And the door opens. Awesome. So next is Koga. Koga actually used to be a gym leader in Kanto, the sixth gym leader of Future City, which you should say. And uh, now he's in the Elite Four for the Johto, for Generation 2, I should say. So he starts off with an Aerator, so I'm gonna put a... I'll put all over front, because I already didn't get any screen time yet. So yeah. So yeah. So this has been then my Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough at Part Next Part with 2, just to take on Koga, the second member of the Elite Four, the master of bug type Pokemon, I guess you could say. So yeah, so this has been Janko again. I would like to thank you for goodbye, and I'll see you guys next part of my Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough Guide.